We did Ephesians 1 on Saturday night. So uh, all the people, try and get the CD and listen to it. It will truly bless you. Right. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, to the saints which are in Ephesus and the faithful in Christ Jesus. It means the rest of the chapter will be for me. Because I know I am in Christ Jesus. Okay, so 2 Peter chapter 1 says, we can be partakers of the divine nature. Then he repeats, by the knowledge, by the knowledge, by the knowledge, by the knowledge. Hosea 4 verse 6 says, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Hmm? Jesus said, you, you, you don't know God, neither his power. So I got to know God. I got to know his power. The more knowledge I get of God, the more I know who I am. The more I know who I am, the more I am. Ja, 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 ja. Come on, John 10, 34. Does not your law say, I say you are God's. So I can be a God man. I can be a ruler, a reigner, more than a conqueror. A throne person seated in heavenlies in Christ. Okay, so heaven is above. Okay, so... Uh, no, I got to understand the word above means of a higher authority, of a higher plane or a higher authority. Okay? Because if heaven is just above earth, that means America is now here. For them, heaven is above. Huh? Right? For people in Southeast Asia, heaven is above. But for us, it's sideways. Okay, so above just means it's higher. It's of a higher realm. Okay, okay. so back to the in, in Christ. Grace be to you. And we just got to read a few words. Maybe we we'll read the chapter. No, we read till about, I don't know. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Ah, so I'm blessed because I'm in Christ, which is in heavenly places, which is above earth, which is the throne life. Okay? For those who want to get excited. Verse 4. According as he hath chosen us in him. Oh, man, i got to write it down. Uh, you know, I haven't got my Bible on Sunday. So I'm blessed because I know where I am. I'm chosen. Oh, Sunday was good. Set it on me. Because I'm there. Sunday was just as good. People really loved it. Chosen in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love. God is love. Having, okay, so you don't struggle to love because God is love and I am in love. So that means I'm in God. So I must just know where I am. Then it's easy to love. So it's not I trying to love you. I just allow God to love you because I am in Him. And the more I'm hidden in Him, the easier it is for Him to love you. So I just allow Him to work through me, love you through me, bless you through me. Okay? Look at that picture. Matthew 5, 14 says, you are the salt of the earth. You are a city. Remember the city is where? That's on a hill. You are the light of the world. Okay? So there's the world again. There's heaven again, the city that came down from heaven, the Jerusalem, which is us, which is full of light. Uh, thank you. You are the light of the world. You cannot be hidden because you are above everything else. Everybody must see you. So let your light so shine that men may see your good works. Okay? And glorify your Father which is in heaven. So men must see my good works and glorify my Father. So if I start to do works again, then I'm back in the law. So what works can I do to let the light of God shine? So if God is light, God is love. What is love? The fruit of the Spirit is love. Okay? There's an orange. Okay? Let's call the orange love. Okay? You know the orange. Right? Inside the orange, there's a lot of segments. 
Underneath the skin, there's a little white skin. Okay? Underneath that skin, there's a little orange. Every single, what do they call it? Slice. Every slice, every segment has got a little fleece around it. Inside, it's got little pips. Red, right on the corner, it's got a core. So it's consisting of a lot of things. So the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, kindness, meekness, temperance, faith. So if I am in love, and God is love, 1 John 4, 18. If I'm in love, I'm in God, I'm in Christ, I'm in heaven, I'm on the throne, I'm even with Christ. So it's easy to be kind, to be gentle, to be friendly. But the minute the old self comes up, I'm back on the earth and I forget that I am in heaven. So set your mind on things above. So the only thing I must think is, if I do anything... Am I in Christ or am I in Kubis? If I'm in Kubis, hey, 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 I'm going to slap you one. I'm going to pull your hair out. I'm going to slap your teeth out. I'm going to pull out your toenails and I'm going to push it right into your eyes. I'm going to do something to you. I'm going to wrap your feet around your neck. I'm going to tie it in a knot and I'm going to throw you like a soccer ball over the field and I'm going to kick you like a rugby ball. I'm going to do something to you. But if I know, I, I, I must let my light shine. Because there's somebody that's standing right now in darkness because he's got a problem. The problem needs to be solved by light. The minute I act differently than this, I'm acting like this. And if I'm acting like that, flesh comes out. And flesh doesn't smell good in front of God. The only thing God wanted from flesh is a sacrifice. So they had to always bring the sacrifice and burn it. And when God was satisfied with the sacrifice, he said, Ah, for another year you can go well. But now he says, our minds must be renewed. So we must think just that. And if my mind is renewed, what does it say? I bring my body a living sacrifice. So God said, let that flesh just be a sacrifice. Don't let that flesh glory. Don't let that flesh come out. Romans 8 over and if I think fleshly, I will die. If I think spiritually, I will live. Because the mind of the flesh is enmity with God. But the mind of the spirit is life and peace. Thank you. Good sermon. Okay. That wasn't the sermon. Right, let's read on. According as he has chosen us in him, that we should be without blame before him, in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glory. Where are we? To the praise of his, the glory of his peace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. Oh, I'm accepted in. Oh, no. Somebody need to just say something at least. I am accepted in the beloved. Which is the beloved? Christ. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So if I know I'm in him, accepted in him, chosen in him, blessed in him, I will know that God has accepted me in Christ. And he says, you are well pleased. So God is not trying to get you. God is pleased with you because you are in Christ. God says, I like you, Sterek. I think you are great. You are A1 okay. You are not number 10. Okay, say it out loud. I'm number one. I'm number A. I'm number OK. I'm not number 10. You don't stand in the back of the line. You're right in front of the line. You're in the throne, in Christ, in God, in heavens, above situations, above circumstances. You are only above. You are not beneath. You've got to understand it and grab it. Say, I, I, I take it. Mm. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. The opposite of that, I said that Saturday, but I need to say this today. The opposite of accepted is rejected. And this is the thing. 
that they say 98% of civilization struggle with rejection. We feel rejected by somebody, by our mothers, our fathers, our teachers, our playmates on the school grounds, our peer group in the class, and so many things we feel. You know, if somebody says, uh, just something nasty, you feel rejected. You know? I like your dress. Ah, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, I got it from a sailor jet stores. Nobody will ask you where did you buy it and on which sale, you know. I mean, we've got the China shops now in town. You can get a bargain there. Why go and pay, pay, pay 780 rand for the same thing you can now pay 59.99 for? <laughs> At least somebody needs to say, wow, well, I take that. I mean, I buy this shirt at Truist, okay, 699 rand. I go to Chinatown, there's the same shirt. It's got another label. It's 99 rand. I say, ah, somebody has been getting the best of me. I mean, they got 600 rand out of me, 699, and here it's only 99, but it's the same shirt, this different label. So it comes from the same factory. Hmm? How did we get on the shirt? <laughs> oh, rejection. <laughs> you know, so I walk like, hey, that's a nice shirt. Yeah, I got it from Truist for six ninety nine. <laughs> but I shopped around and I got it from Chinatown for ninety nine. Oh, no, I don't know what to say, but say I am not rejected. I refuse to feel rejected. I am accepted in the beloved, which is Christ. I am chosen. I am blessed in Christ. I am already in Christ. I don't have to try and get there. I don't have to work to get there. I am there. It's by grace. Come on, you need to say it to believe it. You've got to change your sound to change your scenery. You've got to confess to possess. Huh? you got a name to proclaim. <laughs> hmm? Hallelujah. Let's read on. In whom? Oh, in whom? In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Okay. Oh, so in him I'm redeemed. Hmm? That means I've been forgiven. Okay, you don't have to say it to somebody else because they're not going to believe you. I think you need to say it to yourself. I'm forgiven. I'm redeemed. Redeemed mean I was, that's the word used there, I was a slave. Okay, now we don't understand slavery in this nation. But, you know, up in Africa and in America, they had slave trades. In other words, you know, and in the Bible days as well, a slave, no, you don't know what a slave is. If you're cleaning the church, you're not a slave. I said, yeah, we are the slaves. <laughs> no, you're not a slave. A slave means you were, you were standing on a stage with chains around you, with no clothes on. And then they look at what type of muscles you have. Would you be a good worker? And then they bid a price for you. 20, 25, 20, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. I got 40 there, 40 there, 40, 50, 50, 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 80, 80. I got 90 there. I got 90, somebody 100, 100. I got 120, 20, 20. I got 200, 200, 200, 200 400, 400, 400. I got thousands, 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 Okay, and then the master said, you know what, I like you so much, you look so good, I don't think you should be a slave, come, I have now bought you, let me take your chains off, you know what, I've now got all the power over your life, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to tell you, you can go free, do whatever you want to. That is the word redeemed. We were on the slave market and somebody came, paid a price for it. And after he bought us, he said, you can now go. That is the word redeemed. 
Okay? And I read that when I just started in the ministry. I was redeemed. I mean, God Almighty came, paid a price for me, bought me as a slave. But then when he got me as a slave, he said, now I set you free. So Jesus says, I do not call you slaves anymore. I call you friends. So he said, you know what? You can now come sit with me at my table. I've paid the price. I make you my friend. You know what? Forget the table. Come sit with me in my throne. You know what? Forget that. You can now rule with me. You know what? I'm just going to sit back till my enemies be made a footstool. I allow you to take the kingdom over completely. You rule. I have bought you, redeemed you, washed you, chosen you. Wow. All that if I just know where I am. I don't have to struggle to do a lot. I only have to know who I am. And I need to confess to possess. I got a name to proclaim. I got to take it for myself, okay? In whom we have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of our sins. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I am even not a Van Rensburg anymore. I am now in Christ. My surname now is Christ. So now I'm not Kubis Van Rensburg. I am Kubis in Christ. So the van becomes the inn, so I don't have to pull anything around with me. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, the blood. It says we were redeemed by the blood. So the price that was paid to get me out of the slave market was the blood. And 1 Peter 1.18 says, we've been redeemed by all the useless, fruitless ways of living that we have inherited from our forefathers. You know, the Van Rensburg were a lot of goats. They were not sheep. I know there's other Van Rensburgs there too. Maybe they're better Van Rensburgs. But our Van Rensburgs, if I go back in our lineage, they were sitting in prison. They were hard, stern people. They were drunkards. They were cursors. And uh, they were ugly people. They were all good musicians somehow, you know. I don't know why they were musicians. Say, I'm not in... Say your surname. Have you ever seen those family badges? You know? Have, have you ever seen those family badges? Oh, let's make it a nice badge. Okay, let's make it a bit nicer. A badge, and then there's like, you know, certain things on the badge. Remember? And then there's like a little thing there, and a little thing there. And then on the side, there's normally two goats. Nobody ever saw that on a family badge. Have you ever saw the two goats on the side of the... That shows you exactly what a family badge is for. It puts you in a goat family. And Jesus said, you are my sheep. Huh? Goats bear and sheep meh. <laughs> What's the difference between bear and meh? I don't know, but there's a difference. Okay. Having made known, we got to finish. Having made known unto us the mystery of his will. Everyone said, I can now know the mystery. So what's the mystery? The mystery that's been hidden throughout ages and generations is now revealed. It's not only that I am in Christ. It's now that Christ is also in me. <laughs> so, oh man. How on earth can you get that? Okay, so if you take an egg, you know. It's got the yolk on the inside, remember? And then it's got that white slimy thing on the outside. And then it's got that hard shell. It doesn't, yeah. Remember? So, there am I, there is Christ, there is God. All right? Type of that. But now I break the thing. Because Christ was broken on the cross and Christ is one with God. Now I scramble the air. <laughs> Now I don't know what is yellow and what is white. Because I am in Christ and Christ is in me. Oh, man. So my life is so scrambled up with Christ. I can't think right anymore. I can only think like God because I am so in Him. And oh, yeah. Ah, ah. All right. Uh, where are we? Forgiveness. We're near the bound of the world, having known the mystery, uh, you know, which he purposed in himself. Oh, we got to finish, man. That in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things 
in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on the earth, even in him. Ah, oh, that means I was on earth. He was in heaven. He came and made the both one so that I can now be there while I'm walking here and this don't have to tie me down. I am ruled by that life that makes me more than a conqueror. I am only above. I'm not beneath. I'm in the throne. I'm not living to the flesh. I'm living after the spirit. I'm raised. I've got a better life. Hallelujah. Verse 11. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance. You saw the in again. Being predestinated according to the purpose of him who hath worketh all things after the counsel of his will. See, now I'm walking according to God's will. I can only do what God says. Jesus says, I only do the will of the Father. I only speak the words of God. I only do the works of God. I can't but else because that's where I am. That we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ. Say, I trust in Christ. You're not working with me. Say, I trust in Christ. I am in Christ. Verse 13. In. Oh, man. I hope somebody's going to read Ephesians today. In whom also you trusted. After that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. In whom also after that you believed you were sealed. Uh, I think the NIV would say you were mocked. Anybody got an NIV? NIV would say, you were marked with the seal of God's approval. So God marked you. Hmm? Sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Which is the earnest of our inheritance. Until the redemption of the purchased possession. Unto the praise of His glory. Uh, I think that's good enough for now. I think, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to go on. I think that's good enough. I want you to, to know. What are you thinking? If I struggle to think that, I'm going to struggle the rest of my life. But if I only know that, I don't have to struggle with anything else. If I can only know if any man is in Christ. Maybe why it means so much to me. The night that I got saved, an old lady gave me a little card. If any man is in Christ, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And then I remembered that I, I, I was like, you know, 24 years old. But I remembered when I was seven years old, I also gave my life to Jesus. And somebody also gave me a card that also said, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. And that word is the basis of my life. I don't struggle to be right with you. I only know if I don't shine my light now. I'm going to bring darkness in this situation. You know, the only way to make this place dark, like I think Chris said it here the other night, Pastor Chris Cresini from America, you can't run out when it's dark and grab some darkness and run into the church and release darkness. The only way you can get darkness is to switch the lights off. And he says, if the light in you becomes darkness, how dark is the darkness? You see, if it's nighttime, and I'm standing in this place. There's some moonlight coming in, and I can see a little, you know, there's a wall there. I struggle, but I can find it. I can see it through the moonlight. If I switch the lights on, everything is clear. And if I walk here and somebody all, all of a sudden switch the lights off, it's darker than it was before I switch the light on. In other words, if I don't handle situations and circumstances with light, it becomes darker than it was before I started handling the situation. That's why i got to understand. I've got a responsibility. I am the light of the world. I am the salt of the earth. I've got a position. I've got a responsibility to be the Christ to the earth today. People need to get light in their situations. I need light. God is love and I am in love. God's name is Christ. I am in Christ. God is everything that I am in. I am seated in heavens. You can't help it but make it.